The new thing that we're going to talk about in our coding for today's lesson, it's really not new, it's just adding some comments throughout your program to kind of demonstrate your knowledge and then what the whole song, the meaning of the whole song, and your call to action. So you should have a few comments already. We've got one that has your author, the script name is Your Voice is Power, and you should have your name for author, and we can add another line, so I'm going to press enter, I'm going to add another hashtag, I'm going to say audience, so that was something that was suggested. And the audience could be my friends, it could be the white community, it could be everyone, uh, so it could be people in the Phoenix area, it could be Carl Hayden students, so you think, kind of think about who is your song geared towards. So I'm just going to put here um, Phoenix area, it, but you can put, you know, people in the Phoenix area, but you could put your friends, you could put your family, you could put teenagers. So think about who you who you would like to listen have listen to your song. Then where you have description, a remix song about, and here you might want to say something about um, uh, social justice or racism or overcoming racism, being an entrepreneur. Um, so think about the message of your song because you're going to have some lyrics in there. You're going to have some words, and what is the message that you want to convey? So I, this is a remix song about my vision for a world without racism or it might be my vision for uh, people overcoming because that's the kind of thing you know from the quotes that I give you um, that's what I like to do so think about your message this is a remix song about and for me it, it might be um, overcoming obstacles to be and then if you want to you can always add a new line add a hashtag So you're going to fill in your description. When we first started with a, on day one, we just left the description really general. Now you want to fill it in. And you can go through and add some more comments to your code about kind of like the purpose. So we've already got comments. Here's our sound bank. We've got the comment that this is line is going to print a sentence to the console. I come, I've come. got my beats variables. i got my fills and intro. I might say something about the intro. What's the purpose? Or... What's the feel that I want to have? So I've already got intro. I could add another comment in here. Um, this um, this music should convey or should um, bring about the mood, or make you feel, or has the message. So you want to just add in kind of the purpose of or what you hope to accomplish with that function. Then you're going to go on to the next one, do the same thing for this verse, count what's this verse about. Maybe I could talk about the speed of the, the tempo or the, the, the particular sounds that I picked and why they go together or the image or the mood. Okay, So this verse is about, and then you kind of can fill in, you know. And then same thing for the chorus and any other functions that you have. So if you only have two functions, then you just write about those two. Up here at the top, you can also talk a little bit about, like underneath the description, you can talk a little bit about what you learned. Okay. So during this um, program, I learned that, and then you can talk about racism, you can talk about being an entrepreneur, you can talk about social justice, you know, so just mention a couple things that you learned up here in the description part to kind of summarize. So you're going to add some comments to the top. You're going to add some comments for each function. And then at the end, we want to add in a call to action. So this is going to be just above your print because the print is the very last thing. So and this is going to be just comments. I'm going to add some lines down here and I'm going to have this as my call to action. Okay, and so what is a call to action? You know, it's, you, you know, your belief of what you'd like to have happen, right? I would like this song to encourage people to support black-owned businesses. I would like the, this song to encourage people to be accepting of all races. I would like this song to um, help people know they can overcome obstacles and that nothing has to stand in their way. So think about your call to action, okay? And that's what you're going to type down here at the end. Okay. 
So once you have some comments added into your code, and you could add more than this, this is just kind of like the basics, and then anywhere you want to add in music or add in comments about the music or about your choices or about how it conveys your message, feel free to add in more. So this would be like the minimum, okay? Then you can you have time to keep working on your song all the way up until near the end of the class period. And then the last thing you're going to do is share this with me. So I want to go through that step so you can be very clear about that because I can't give you a grade for this whole program unless I can see your song. And I can't see your song unless you share it with me. So I'm going to come over here. It's the second folder. So remember the first folder is where I can get my sounds. The second folder is where all of my scripts are saved. You probably do not have all these scripts like I do. You hopefully only have one or two. So, And yours should be near the top. It's your voice's power. So I've got my script showing. And this, the one on the top is the script that I need to share with my teacher. Now you see over here, right next to the name, to the right of the name, there's this blue, three blue lines with a little arrow, which means, of course, there's a menu. And then click on that menu, and partway down, there's share. Okay. So you definitely want to click share, and then you have some choices. So this is going to pop up. And really the only one you need to do is this clipboard. So kind of here in the middle, there's a link. And this clipboard will share, will copy that link to the computer's clipboard and let you paste it. So I'm going to click here to copy. Then I'm going to go to my assignment. And here on my assignment, you can see on the last page, there's a place for you to paste your link. So it's here in this table. Paste the link to your code. And I'm just going to do a paste to Control V. Okay. Without that, you cannot get a grade. So it's that important. Let me go through the steps again. In Ear Sketch. You're going to be, and I'm going to just do cancel right here. So in Ear Sketch, you make sure you click on the second folder. Come down to your scripts. You only have a couple of them. Go to your voice's power. To the right, just to the right of the name, you see the blue lines. Click on the down arrow. Go to share. And then click on the clipboard to copy the link to your, to your computer's memory. Go to your assignment. And then where it, on the last page where it says paste the link to your code, you're going to do a control V or a paste and your link is there. Then you just have three questions to answer and you are ready to turn in this assignment.